Hi, my name is Sos and today I would like to tell you about burnout and about how not to burn out. My talk is called Don't Burn Your House Down and it's gonna feature these really nice dinosaurs as well. So, first things first, how not to burn out? I would like to tell you what are we going to talk about in this talk. So, first, it's gonna be some tips and tricks and cheat codes maybe for sustainable life as a game developer. We all have been working too much probably at one point in our careers. I have been working too much and especially now that we are mostly stuck at home, it is important to take care of yourself and take care not to burn out. So I'm gonna tell you what is a burnout? Why do we do this? Why do we burn out? Things we can do to prevent that and some, I'm gonna enumerate some cool gadgets that's gonna help you out with it and I'm gonna add some unnecessary moralizing. So, first things first. What is a burnout? Oxford definition says that a burnout is a cease to function as a result of excessive heat or friction the clutch had burned out, or to ruin one's health or become completely exhausted through overwork. And of course, we are not a clutch, we are human beings, so we are gonna go with number two, to ruin one's health or become completely exhausted through overwork. And I point out again that there is zero discussion about what is a cause of burnout. The cause of burnout is overwork, it's working too much and this is what I'm gonna focus on to help you not work too much. Of course, we all love games, but there, and there are also other things that we need to take care of, so answer yourself these three questions. Question one, what is your hobby? And by hobby, I mean something that is completely unrelated to work. Question two, how often do you hang out with friends? And by friends, I mean friends and not colleagues, not people who you meet to discuss work with. And number three, what was the last time you went on a vacation that is longer than a week? And sightseeing during an industry event or other work-related travel does not count. So I mean vacation, real vacation. And by work, I mean video games, computers, game industries, social networks, physical games, board games, and everything else you use to work. So remember, it's important to have a hobby, to have something to do, that is not related to your work, it's important to hang out with your friends and not with friends and play board games, video games or discuss games or the games industry, just hang out and have time outside of the one thing that you do and go for a vacation, do something else. This is, it's important to have a slice of your work and a slice of your life and these are separate slices. I know that this is a Venn diagram, but this Venn diagram is not a single circle. It's supposed to just overlap a bit. Remember to put a line between your work and between your uh, life. So, next up. Why? Why do we do this? Well, thing is, video games are passion. And we are passionate to create video games. I am passionate to create video games. And most of the developers asked why they make video games. They say that they always wanted to. I always wanted to. But employers will abuse that to force you to crunch, to force you to overwork because you are passionate. So you will be willing to put some more effort than, you're, uh, than you have to into the thing that you do. But even if you don't have an employer and you're an independent developer, uh, you need to take care of yourself because it's easy to get lost in what you do. And you need to constantly remind yourself not to work too much. So, remember these three things, it's important. One, work is love, but work is not life. Your work is not your life. But as I said, separate these two, things that you do for work and things that you do for life, for 
things that you like to do, things that are outside of your work. Even if you love work, you need to do something that is not it. And your game is not you. If your game is bad, you're not bad. If your game gets criticized, you're not criticized. If your game fails, you do not fail. You are not your game. So also take care of you and not of your game because if there is no you, there is nobody to make that game. Remember that. And now I'm gonna tell you some anti-burnout cheat codes, some maybe seemingly moralizing, but kind of just things that you can do to maybe slow down the burnout rate or uh, prevent that completely, or maybe just like live healthily. Uh, this is also a chart of dinosaurs hate for no reason. So here are the few tricks you can do Try yourself at home or not to reduce the risk of burnout. Cheat one, work out. I know it sounds simple, but it's remember it's not about doing, it's about trying. It's about you try to work out every day, even if you do it once a week or two times a week, that's okay. You're not getting any younger. When I started at the game industry, I was 20 something year old. Now I'm 30 something. I'm gonna be 40 something in some time. And if you don't work out and just sit in a chair and work in front of a computer, you're bound to have some health issues. You need to take care of that body because that body is what makes these video games. So, three simple rules that I use for my workout routine. One is at least three times a week. There are five times a week you could like do this every day, but three is enough for me so you can like do other stuff and socialize or maybe do other cool stuff. Two, never skip Mondays. It's, it sounds weird, but it's like really, if you do the Monday, it's only two days left to do this week and Monday is already gone. So don't try not to skip Monday, no matter how exhausted you are after the school weekend. Uh, try to do this Monday and don't skip on stretching. Like do some yoga, do some stretching, do the roller thing, it hurts a lot, but it's gonna help you out, especially because we are at this sedentary position. Even if you have a standing desk, you do need to remember that. It takes extra time, but it's really helpful for you to stay healthy, because like you don't want all of this to collapse, because this is what makes these cool video games, right? Number two, weekends are sacred. You do not work at weekend, no work. You wanna play a game? Sure, that's not work. But do you wanna reply to an email? No, no, no. This can wait. This can wait after a weekend. Like, people know that you have a weekend. There's this song by Olivier Cheatham. I really like this song. It's called Get Down on Saturday Night. And the chorus goes like this. You work all week long. You work your fingers to the bone, literally. Friday's enemy, I can't wait for Saturday to begin. So you just like, work, work at the week and then take the weekend off just like one time there's like this is a really funny story one time a friend called me and was like hey do you want to do a tedx talk this was a year that i was going to all the events and i was really exhausted i was like you know what to hell with this i'm not doing anything on the weekends and i decided that weekends are sacred there's an event on a weekend i'm not going there and he's like hey do you want to do a tedx talk on a i was like when? And it's like, you know, next Sunday. I'm like, Sunday, man, I'm taking a Sunday off. And I just hung up on him. And then, like, after after a few hours, I was like, hey, what am I doing? I should probably do that. That's a nice business opportunity. But hey, I had a nice Sunday. Worth it. Next up, experience stuff. So, imagine writing a book. But you have never done anything else than writing this one book. So, what the hell is this book gonna be about? Like, if your life is just writing a book, like, what is it based on? What am I gonna find in this book? I'm just gonna find about, out about you writing a book. This game is you. You put yourself in the game. So you need to be something else than just this game maker. Have an adventure. Go outside, do something maybe crazy or maybe... <clears throat> something that's gonna give you an experience. It doesn't have to be good. It can, doesn't really have to be bad. It just has to be something that you might have a memory of so that you can use that to build up on the experience and put that into the thing that you're making. Employ all senses. This is important. So um, this is a really 
important, especially for younger. I know you are not young because we are like making video games, or maybe you are young, but like young kids, little kids who are really hooked on computers and don't really go out, go outside. They lose this. They they have this development issues because they don't employ all the senses. We are have the senses already developed, but it's important to to go outside to touch things. It's important to uh, to smell things. It's important to walk barefoot on the ground once in a while or maybe just like lie on the ground have this experience be like employ all the senses in it that's important because you need to take care of all of this all of this is important to you because this is how you experience things i know that we have been stuck home and this is a big toll that has been taken upon us uh, that we do not have this opportunity we did not have or we might be limited uh, to having the opportunity of being outside and meeting other people and stuff but like if this is gonna pass and this is we still have to do that remember employ all the senses this is really important go smell some flowers and but experience can be good is also an experience so like when you go on a trip and it turns out it was like this camping was a disaster oh no it was raining all the time but you're gonna keep telling stories about how the terrible it was so it's in the end it's a really nice experience that you have a memory of <sighs> next up Broaden Horizons. I know that we make this digital art of video games that is the pinnacle of the uh, audiovisual industry because it's interactive and stuff and you can tell stories in new and creative ways and of course I believe that's true but also it's important to know the other aspects of culture so go see a play, go to a theater they're really nice, something that you experience with more senses than a movie because it is in a theater and this is like people who are acting on a stage. Go see also a movie, maybe go see a blockbuster or maybe go see an off-cinema movie uh, about something weird because you want to broaden your horizons because you are a creative person. Go to a concert, go to a, maybe not, maybe go to a concert with a friend to something that you have never heard before. Maybe go to a music festival, I know these are limited now, but they are gonna come back. So go to a concert to experience this. Not only listen music at home, but also do that. Go to a museum, go see these, all these old things inside. Go see an art exhibition, paintings by other people. Go for a walk, just go, go there and walk around and look at things. Uh, go to an opera, I really, really love opera, these people are singing there and sometimes it's really funny. Uh, and the ballet, <laughs> it's culture, it's something, we create culture, so we need to experience culture, all aspects of it. Go somewhere, do something. It's, uh, this is a title of one of my favorite movies of all time, it's called Ricky and Ricky Go Somewhere and Do Something. So yeah, do that. Next up nature go spend time in the nature so if you know colors on computers 16 bit color have 5 bits for red 5 bits for blue but 6 bits for green and this is not an accident it is because the human eye can see more shades of green because green is everywhere and when i look around there is not much green here maybe there's a plant here but you need to go outside to a forest by a lake to a mountain to a seaside spend some time in the nature and now I'm gonna just show you this really nice waterfall and you're gonna spend 10 seconds in this nature. It was nice, wasn't it? Next. Meet other people. So, I know you can think, hey, this is not for everyone. So here are the three types of people who should regularly meet other people. Extroverts, introverts, everyone else. Really, you need to experience socializing. This is one of the basic human needs, is interaction and just the need of language. You need to talk to other people face to face, verbally and not verbally. Go and do it. I know that it's... Now, it's not advice to see other people, but when the pandemic is over, go and meet your friends regularly. So, to sum up, to give you like a concise list of things that can be done to keep up. Here is the chart, and every day, 
don't work more than nine hours. Just no, 10 hours is too much. Nine hours is much. Eight hours is okay. Everything less is cool. Do not work more than nine hours a day. It's also cool if you work and it's like, so what I do is I work until 5 p.m. and then it's 5 p.m. and my alarm goes off and I'm like, just mid doing something and I quit. I close the computer, save my work and go out and in the middle of doing something and I'm really excited to go back to work and continue working on that. So I start in the morning and it's continuing and I'm like, yeah, this is cool. And then I'm also eager to finish working and go do something else. So that's a really nice cutoff point. Don't sleep less than eight hours. You really, really sleep is good. It's something that humans need to do. Do not skimp on that. Try to touch computer, not to touch computers after work. So like you work, uh, now I'm working from home, but when I'm working from my office, I try just to not keep a computer at home. Just not to touch it, not to do work after work because it's really hard. So it might be better to just like not have one. Not use one, like watch Netflix on a tablet, play video games on your Nintendo Switch, but a computer might not really be necessary. Work out every day. Of course, it's not really hard. It's really hard to work out every day. So I do it three times a week. You can do it four times a week. Even if you do it one time a week, that's good. It's about trying. And at least once every two weeks, it's important to spend a day around nature. Just go out, go outside the city go somewhere green, walk around or just do nothing, sit under a tree. Meet other people, don't talk about work, don't talk about games, don't talk about physical games, don't talk about social media, don't talk about technology, don't talk about anything work related. Just go and hang out, talk about good stuff, things. Experience art and culture, other aspects of art that are video games. Of course, we all play video games, but it's important to broaden your horizons and go on a trip somewhere nice. Every once in a while, it's important to go on vacation. So these are the things you might want to screenshot that now. Uh, And remember, it's not about really doing all of this because there's like, you also need to do house chores and wash the laundry and do stuff like that. It's about trying. And the balance, the work-life balance, it's not there out there for you to find. It's out there for you to pursue. And this never-ending pursuit is what actually is the balance. Try to do life and try to do work and try to mix all these things in different ways and just try to be good to yourself because you is what is important and oh spend a day doing absolutely nothing that's one last thing uh, you can you can go and spend a day doing absolutely nothing inside uh, in and uh, around nature so that's gonna be like two things in one uh, one more thing one more cheat code is inventory so it's like I have this a bunch of things that I really like to do when I want not to work and to do something completely else. This involves nature because I love nature. Uh, so a few things to, that can help you in the quest. One is a backpack to fit all of the following. It doesn't need to be big backpack to fit all of the following. A 10 liter tiny backpack is enough. One, portable hammock. It's perfect. You just, wherever you go, you find two trees and you're like immediately in a napping position. You're just like... Whew. You're, it's it's perfect. You go to a nature and you just can hang out and do nothing in the perfect hammock position. It's great. And you need a book so you can read it on a hammock. You can also take like a video game, but it's like it's better to take a book and stay away from video games because that's also work. Or an instrument you can take. I have an ukulele or a flute or just like you. You're in the forest playing a flute uh, and and it's really nice. Oh, and headphones. So when you go to a park or something somewhere noisy, you might want to block out the noise. So headphones is nice for reading a book in a crowded park. And a water bottle because you need to stay hydrated and maybe a sandwich because you want to spend a lot of time out there. So you just take all of these things, put them in the backpack and this is your backpack. Whenever you go out and want to like just hang out in the afternoon, put the backpack on your bag and you go and you can hang out in a park, in a forest, under a lake, uh, with this hammock, like, it's perfect, look, this is me on hammock by lake, this is me on hammock at totally other 
place. This is also me on a hammock. It's perfect. You just like go to a nature and you're all set. You can also sleep on this hammock and camp. Uh, this is me on a hammock and yeah, just half all of this is gonna help you on a quest. So, that's all. Now, go back to work. Or not. This is me, I'm Sosowski. You can find me on Twitter at Sosowski. You can email me if you have questions. And remember to take care of yourself and be good to yourself. Thank you. How do I stop this?